morning lovely people so today in the day of the life of my diary so today um i'm actually working from home so i have an infection prevention control session um it's literally like a study day so all day from nine to five um it'll be a team's meeting and they'll be teaching us about um different infection control stuff that we already know stuff that they want to cover in further detail um so i've been put on this study day so i'm going to see how it is um so as i said it's from nine o'clock to five o'clock on the team's meeting so i'm ready i even have my glasses on um i've got my laptop my laptop open to start the day are many study days that you can um be involved in or you may be asked to join um, just to like enhance your knowledge and also enhance your skills as well is very important. We will be faced with many different things when we're on the wards um, and it's always good to, you know, enhance your knowledge on things that you may not know or even if you do know it, just to polish and update your knowledge on these information. So infection control is one of them, for example. Um, we always have inspections on the wards, so it's good to actually know what is right what is wrong so that we can actually provide the best and safe care um to our patients a bit early for the study day so i'm just quickly looking through this is giving you guys a glimpse of what that i'm trying to do so yeah i had an ebook two years ago that i was selling and i'm just trying to perfect it and that's why you should definitely follow Nursing Essentials. A new ebook will be out for you guys soon. So just watch the space and other stuff as well. But I don't want to talk too much. This is already a sneak peek. And then toxic mesocolon. And then if you can have, you can get CT colitis as well. So that is effective. So does anyone want to shout out what this is? Hey guys, so it's 5 p.m. My training is done. Um, so basically, we're training about infection prevention and control. So we're learning about different types of ways to clean, um, for example, the sluice area, appropriate ways of putting on PPE, um, challenging doctors in relation to medication prescriptions, um, and the type of antibiotics patients are on. Um, it was quite an interesting day. There was guest speakers who were speaking as well. So there's a doctor that came into the call and she was talking about C. diff and um, ways in which we need to ensure that the right samples are sent off to the labs and what the labs look for. So yeah, it was quite interesting. Um, and now we all have a task, which is to do an audit on our ward um, to see whether our wards are up to scratch with what they have explained to us so i'll do that when i go back to work tomorrow so yeah so the rest of the evening because i am working tomorrow so i'm going to just try and create a content video for you guys um this evening because i was in the middle of doing one and then i kind of forgot about it so it was just a mini like get ready with me so i'm going to try and do that this evening um since i have these braids on and i'm literally going to try and take these braids off clean my room eat relax and then go to bed that's, that's the plan hopefully hopefully yeah it goes well <laughs> friends so back home after my 12 and a half hour shift i am a bit tired um i did manage to take my hair out guys yesterday i literally slept so late due to this but yeah i took my braids out and i feel much better to be honest i feel more fresh refreshed um but yeah today's been mm, it's been kind of busy i can't lie i had a few discharges but it wasn't too bad it was a nice day um yeah i had a few discharges um so it was just sorting out some stuff for my patients but yeah i'm happy with the day um and i'm just trying to find the energy i'm working tomorrow so i'm actually gonna go and shower eat and then sleep yeah so thank you guys i'd literally like in the mornings i just think oh my gosh like 
I forget about the vlog and then when I'm walking to the train station then I remember about the vlog so yeah I'm going to try tomorrow to start from the beginning and try and vlog my entire shift for you guys and guys I know that there's times when you get home and you're so knackered yeah that you cannot be oxy you just want to shower and sleep but, but please please do eat or like snack or something before you sleep because honestly you've come from a 12 hour shift you need to have your dinner and then sleep at least yeah <laughs> the thing is as nurses and as health professionals we always look after our patients and advocate for our patients we never look after ourselves so please please look after yourself <laughs> Guys, so I'm going back on the ward, finish break. <laughs> going back on the ward. Awesome. Today's Saturday. Come on, I'm actually looking at this tour on YouTube, but yeah, it's the weekend. Francis is coming over. You guys already know Francis, she doesn't need an introduction. If you're a true Nest Diaries subscriber, you should know Francis by now. But yeah, Francis is coming over. I'm just going to clean my room. And yeah. I'm going to try and do my hair. This is literally my go to hairstyle when I have my natural hair out. My natural goals with afros. This is an easy look. So usually get a comb do my parting etc but because i did my hair yesterday i kind of have a parting and i'm literally just running to the shops so i'm not trying to do too much so i'm literally just going to use this parting that i have now just tie my hair in a bun if you guys know already well some of you know but i just cut my hair not long ago to into like a bob so it's like up here now instead of being here I just felt like doing it because I didn't know what else to do with my hair. But yeah, I'm using Eco Styler. This is my favourite Eco Styler. Um, but, um, yeah, this one is my favourite one. So it is Black Castor and Flaxseed Oil. This is bomb. Like, I usually use it, put it on, and it literally lasts me with the whole shift. Like, my hair's usually, like, still looking good. So, yeah, highly recommend. Um... So yeah, I just put a little bit on my hands and I'm just putting the front of my hair like so and on the other side as well like so and then I just get one of these brushes you can literally get it from any black afro-caribbean hair shop and you just push your hair back you guys see this Do you see the way it's just taking in my hair like that? I haven't put a lot of products on it and it's already like practically slick. That's all you need to do. And look, this is the difference. This and this. Like, do you actually see the difference? Because I see it. But anyways, yeah. So just do the same on the other side. Just slick it back. So I'm kind of in a rush, so I don't really care too much about my hair. Um, usually I would like add a bit more product to it, but I'm literally just running to go to the shops because I need to come back and do an Instagram live. Um, cause I said I was going to do one today, so I just I don't want to be too long. I'm literally just going to the shops. But anyways, do you guys see? Like I didn't even do much. I just put a tiny bit on, and my hair's literally slicked back, and I'm literally just tying it in the bun. Just tying my hair in the bun. That's it, like simple as literally simple as, and I've got a slick back hair, I'm not looking crazy. If you can do your edges if you want, but I used to do my edges all the time, but now I'm going for this crone look of just keeping my hair slick back. Um, but yeah, so let's go to the shops, guys. I did a quick Instagram live, um, so if you were in the lab, you would have seen that. Um, and now we are going to go to Westfield. 
um yeah and i did the makeup on the live you know quick quick you know so like 10 minutes Come yeah back. right <laughs> But yeah, now we're going to Westfield and I'm obviously taking you guys. I think I'm doing good today. Yesterday, guys, I forgot to apologise. But when I came back from, sorry, when I came back from work, I was so tired. That I couldn't even come to you guys and debrief what had happened. I literally did not have any gynecology patients. I like had a uh, Max Fax patient. I had um, a colorectal patient and a surgical patient. Um... And another colorectal patient. So that was literally the specialties that I was looking after. But it was good. It was a it was an okay day. And yeah, but I was just genuinely drained. I think it was just the I, the week that made me so tired. So literally, I came home, I showered, and I literally went to bed. So that's the only reason why. But um, yeah, I think next time I'm doing a weekly vlog, I will try my best to find a day that's a bit more busy for me. So that I can actually show you what I do at work. I tried to, but I didn't even have a lot of um, IV medication. The majority of my medication was tablets. So that's why I didn't really fill my medication time. Okay, so we didn't go to Stratford in the end because of France. Here. <laughs> yeah. It's because of MC actually. It's <laughs> and it's like 8 p.m. now. We're supposed to go out for, at like five. But anyways, the Instagram live went well. We were watching Married at First Sight and we had food. It was actually nice. Yeah. And then now we are going to and it's no. called Afri Kiko. Because, and, yeah. yeah. I've been wanting to try this restaurant for the longest time. So, West we'd like to do it. Mm -hmm. That France is not from London, but tell me that France is not from London. I've been wanting to try this like place for a long time. And I'm here. I think I'm going to get one. I'm not hungry though. Just get it just for the flavours. Yeah, if it's crap, I'll live. Mm -hmm. when we went to all pet ruins, I'll show you. Just because of... I don't even want to embarrass It's already everywhere. Yeah. You need to give us a review and tell us how it is. I don't want any, so I'm actually full up. Honestly, it's been a baby. I'm not being a baby. You need to give us a review.
onboarding. It was really funny. MC's the worst. After She's all. so bad. <laughs> but she tried. You guys both tried. Sure. I'm so bad. I hate bowling. Never invite me bowling. Let me see. <laughs> Never invite me bowling.